guys, it's me. Well, we're finally in 2022, and well, during Christmas, um, I got this, uh, this hangry kit. I, I don't think I've heard about these before. I might have before, but to my knowledge, I, this is, I've only heard about this. I think I got it from my mom. Um, and well, when I got this, I thought to myself, well, you know that maybe I should I should do a video for the, an unboxing video for this. In fact, I was actually my original plan was that I originally kind of wanted to film the unboxing for this um, during my winter break back in December, and then you know edit it in in ja now in January 2022 after you know the break ended. But you know, I ultimately I decided that you know I wanted to just give myself a break from videos from my YouTube videos like I, you know, I was planning um, after my, after the Christmas video I did. And well, that's exactly what happened. So yeah, now, now I'm doing it here. January 2022, right now, today in particular, it's uh, January 4th, 2022, which means it's actually the 23rd anniversary of Ed and Nettie, which is pretty sick. One of my favorite cartoons. I'm sure you you already you all, you're already well familiar with that fact by now. If you haven't already known or haven't guessed even. So this is Hangry Kit. I've never I don't think I've ever heard of this, but you know I'm familiar with these sort of kit things. You know that come with food inside of it. I don't think I've ever gotten one myself. This I think this is, this is most, I'm pretty sure this is the first time ever I've gotten one. So you know hey this is a pretty somewhat monumental moment for me among ones, moments that are actually monumental. Warning, crinkle sounds may increase excitability. Personally, I don't think they give me that much excitability. It is a nice sound. It's a very familiar sound, I guess. There are plenty of other sounds that give me excitability, but I don't have the time to list them all for you. I'm sure you might already know some that give me excitability. So uh, anyway, let's, let's crack into this thing. It's a good thing I have this knife here. Also, I apologize, this is kind of an awkward position. I'm sitting on my floor with a bunch of boxes bringing this thing up. Um, since, you know, I don't know. I, I, I would have done this at the kitchen table, um, but, you know, I can't, I can't really use it right now for filming, so I have to compromise with this. So let's, let's crack into this bad boy and see what's inside. And this is the, uh, the gamer kit one. So, which is mainly, which is why I'm up. This is the one that my mom got. She knows I'm a gamer, and she thought, hey, maybe Andrew would like this. And you know what? I'm pretty, I'm, I, I probably will. All right. Oh my fucking god! Look at that. You got the the the, the pirate booty. You got that Kinder Bueno. You got the fucking uh, you got a Slim Jim. You got a Haribo uh, pack, and you got some airheads. You can't really see it. Oh shit! It fell out. Can't really see it in there, but oh, oh, okay, okay. I just saw something down there, but okay. So we got we got a bag of pirate booty, aged white cheddar. I love fucking. I love this shit. I love pirate booty. Then we got something I've never had before, but I'm sure is pretty good. Uh, you know, I've never heard it. Hawaiian brand kettle style potato chips, sweet Maui onion. I've, I've never heard of this brand or tried this flavor, but hey, it, it could be, it, it seems good. Of course, we've also got three Slim Jims. The, the short ones, but they're Slim Jims on the less, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we've got Sour Patch, uh, we've got, you know, regular Sour Patch sticks of, uh, Four of them, there are four of them, three different flavors. Two of them are the same flavor. That flavor, of course, being uh, uh, the blue flavor. It does not seem to say the flavor on the box. And we got strawberry high chews. I fucking love high chews. It's one of my favorite candies. So, bada boom, bada bing. Uh, we got the airhead. It's a single watermelon shorty one. You know, it's small portions, but hey, it's a variety. It's it's a variety. And I'm willing to accept that. And we got bag of Skittles. Pretty sweet. And of course, uh, Swedish fish. Can't go wrong with Swedish fish unless, you know, you, you have too many or if you're trying to avoid foods that stick to your teeth. 
Caramel Gold Bears. Pristine gummy bears, if I've ever, you know, had them, you know. These are usually, like, the best brand of gummy ever. Like, it's pristine quality. They're, they truly are gold bears. Sour Pet, uh, no. Rice Krispy Treat. It's one Rice Krispy Treat. It's pretty cool, it's pretty, pretty dope, pretty, pretty fly. I, I like Rice Krispy Treats. You know, if I eat too many of them, you know, I will get sick of them, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know how it is with food. Kinder Bueno? I love Kinder Bueno, it's a damn good Kinder thing. You know me, I, I like Kinder stuff. I like the Kinder, uh, the Kinder Surprise. Um, and you know, I, I, I love Kinder Joy as, and I'm going to do a confession right here. I've realized since I made those little Kinder videos and other stuffs when I was in Montreal, I realized I actually think I like Kinder Joy better than Kinder Surprise. So I apologize to all my friends who I have, um, betrayed by saying that, but that, that is the truth. I think I, I, I prefer the, the, the neutered one compared to the original. Hey, you know, maybe they should do, like, one that's, like, a mix. The best of both worlds, you know? I, th I think the main thing is mainly because, you know, it's it, it tastes a lot, the, the joy tastes a lot better. And not to mention, you know, the, the, the little, little crunchy balls that come in the little pudding that they have. That, 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 that That's a major thing. Uh, generally, it just, it just tastes better. It tastes, you know, more like a Kinder Bueno than, you know, just generic chocolate. I mean, the prizes are a cool thing, and I have plenty of Kinder Surprise prizes, but, you know... It can, it can only do so much before, you know, you, you start to realize the hard facts of life. But now, I just noticed these. I wasn't expecting these to come in the bag. Nothing too crazy, but hey, it's a neat surprise. We got an Atari VCS copy of Combat, more specifically the picture label one from the later, uh, uh, the later Combat, you know, sellings. Oh, it's got it's got a it's got a sharpie named on it, Laura. Well, Laura, if you're watching this, I don't know how you would be, but if you are, um, I've got your combat cart, and I'll take good care of it. Despite me already owning like two other copies of this game, as this is easily the most common game for the Atari VCS, as it was the pack and title for like the first five or six years, from 1977 to 1982, before Pac-Man became the pack and title. Um, if I recall correctly. And of course, uh, these Nintendo Power Mints in an NES controller case. This is especially really nice to see because I'm gonna t this, this, I'm gonna tell you right now, I actually have some history with this. Um, as a matter of fact, like, uh, my cousin, Austin, he had one of these, uh, Nintendo Power Tins. He actually had, like, two of them, two candy tins based of controllers. The other one was an Atari VCS one. And... This was, when I found, when I saw these, um, this was before, you know, I actually got to engage with a legitimate NES or Atari, legitimate NES gamepad or an Atari joystick. And, you know, this one is pretty accurate in size to, you know, the NES controller. The Atari one was a lot smaller than the official joysticks. I have plenty of Atari joysticks, so I, I know it, I know what it is. Um, but yeah, I used to, actually, you know, I took the tins from him and I used to play around with them because, you know, I went back before, you know, during 2011, tw 2010 to 2011, I always, I fantasized about, you know, owning retro consoles of my own, you know, which eventually would happen starting in 2011 when I got an Atari VCS for Christmas, which, you know, it's crazy to think it's already been 10 years since that happened. It's like, it's, it's, cr it's very fun to look back and think of before then, you know, my, my, per I never seen these controllers in person until, you know, I got the necessary things for them or, you know, finally got to play them at places yet, like Yestercades. So it's like, I, I never really knew what, what they were, I never had a percep proper perception of what, what it was like to actually have one. With this, you know, it's accurate size. The Atari one's a lot smaller, but it's like, when I was younger, I, 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 for all I knew, it would have been, it would have been like perfect to scale. I, I just wouldn't have known it at the time. It's fun to look back on and think about it. But hey, it's cool to know. Uh, now I have one of my own that that I didn't lose, and I'll, I'll, I'll keep, I'll, I'll keep watch of this, and I'll leave all the nice little mints inside of here. So obviously, this one is a, this one, uh, while the front is pretty much the same as the, I think the Nintendo Power logo was a different color on the on the old one from like 10 years ago. It's mostly just the same, but the back, of course, is a lot different. Uh, mainly because uh, it had 
mainly because it's got an updated copyright year of 2021, and it also has the Nintendo eShop logo, which in 2011, uh, the eShop was just starting out on the 3DS, I believe. Actually, I think that tin in particular was even before the 3DS came out, like 2010, probably, I, I imagine. So it's like, yeah, it's crazy to think there was a time in, in the history where the, the eShop wasn't even a thing that existed, let alone the 3DS, the Wii U, or even the Switch. Well, I mean, the Switch, you know, obviously, it's, it's the most recent console, but, like, the Wii U and the 3DS, you know, it's like, that that was, you know, 3DS was more than 10 years ago, and the, Switch, and the Wii U is almost 10 years ago. It will be 10 years ago come this November, I believe. It's crazy to think it's already been that long. Pretty soon it'll be already been long since I first got my Wii U back in Christmas on 2014. Um, and with Super Mario 3D World and Nintendo Land, which... Nintendo, please bring Nintendo Land to the Switch. I fucking love that game on the Wii U. It's one of the best games for the Wii U. And the Switch, you could easily just bring that there and add more games. And do a deluxe thing. You've done it with Mario Kart. You've done it with the Pikmin 3, I think. Yeah, you did. Do it with Pikmin 3. Do it with Nintendo Land, please. I will gladly, um... Find some way to get it. So I can play it, because... It's, it's a great game. You guys did a good with that, along with other, with other Wii U games. I think, I guess, I've gone through all the stuff in the box. I guess it's only appropriate that, you know, I eat the stuff that's inside of there. I probably won't eat all of them. Like, the mints I'll save for later, the Nintendo mints. But, you know, the rest of the stuff, I'll probably eat some of it. I, I will finish, I will finish all of it. I'm not gonna waste my food. But I, I will at least, you know, just just eat some of this stuff, eat at least, you know, each of the, every one of these things on camera for you guys. I might as well. So yeah, let's start with the pirate booty. I haven't had pirate booty in a while, so it's, so it's, I'll, I'll start with this one first. Alright. Oh, uh, I guess on the, on the back it's got a weird maze. Fair question, how many of you guys out there actually, you know, played with the puzzles and other stuff on, like, the backs of cereal boxes and other food packagings when you were kids? I think I might have done it, like, a couple times, but not not, not often, like, you know, I wasn't the kind of kid who always does it. And I'm, I'm willing to bet that, you know, kids don't really do that anymore, they usually just ignore it. Except for, you know, for some, some few, but I imagine most of them don't. That's just my perception. Alright? Looks good. Let's, let's, let's give it a shot. Mmm. Pretty good as always, though. This one might be, like, one of the lower fat ones, because it's... I don't know. It didn't seem to have as many, as much cheese, but it's, it's, it's still good. Nothing much, but it's still good. It's a small bag, but cool things come in small packages sometimes, like pirate booty. Next up, I think I'll uh, try uh, these Hawaiian brand kettle style potato chips, the sweet Maui onion flavor. I have some misgivings about it, but I'm willing to give it a try. And if I don't like it, I'll just you know, I'll just eat, leave it at that and tell you. And then I'll just save them for later. I'll either either I'll finish them off, or I'll give them to like my brother or something. I don't know. Let's let's uh let's crack her open. Oh, let's uh let's read the back. Discover a new world of flavor when you crunch into Hawaiian brand kettle style potato chips. These crispy golden chips are cooked to perfection, then seasoned just right to capture the authentic tastes of the islands. Open a bag of Hawaiian brand kettle potato style potato chips. And you'll imagine yourself sailing on the blue water of the Pacific, headed to an island of tropical paradise. Sounds like drugs. Hmm. Smells good. That's a good omen. Alright. Yeah, it, it smells good. Alright, this, this is a good omen. I dig this! I dig this! 
this is this is tight as fuck. All right, let's finish this off. Right here or no? Ready, go. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll, I'll set them for later. They're good. They're good. But I think I think uh, I don't think I'll be able to finish those ones at the bottom. I'll I'll, I'll save them. I'll probably I'll, you know I'll probably polish them off after I finish recording this. It's time to take control. Uh, what what was it that uh what was it that Randy Savage said? I I, I forget. Slim Jims. I fucking love Slim Jims, so it's a good thing these three ones were packaged in there. Let's 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 get her done. This will be really simple. It'll be so quick, then it'll be practically a, 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 a pseudo speedrun. By the way, you guys catch that uh, speedrunning video that Nakey Jakey put out recently? He finally came back after his hiatus, and I was so happy because I fell in love with his videos, you know, in 2021. But he, had, he hadn't made one since, you know, by that, he hadn't made one since 2020. Like, it had already been like a year since, you know, his last video. I think. No, no, it, it'd been like a few months since it, and you know, he didn't make any videos during 2021, like, until he did, you know, he released that one music video, which I haven't seen. In fact, I haven't seen any of his music videos, I probably should. And, but then he also did the speedrunning video, which he teased back in his esports video. Ugh. Fantastic video, by the way. And, uh, well, you know, it was great, you know, I, I fell with this shit in 2021. Like, when he hadn't doing, done anything for, like, months. And he finally put out a new one, so... Good to see him. He's easy, he's easily one of the best... I've only just recently... Just a year... Almost a year ago, I discovered him. And he's easily one of the greatest content creators to ever bless YouTube. Like, legitimately. His his, his quality is... Off the chain. If, if you love video games, movies... And other such random stuff, or just eccentric videos with fantastic editing and music choice you're gonna love jakey's shit he, he's he's the bomb diggity he even makes his own music on and, and puts it on spotify and stuff he, the man the man is talented i tell you all right now about jakey lemon and shaky <laughs> yeah Fucking Slim Jims, am I right? You know, what? I'm, 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 I'll, I'll save this one for later. I'll, the Rice Krispie treat, I'll save for later. Um, so we'll go right to uh, all the fruit stuff right now, of which you know that's all there is left, minus the Kinder Bueno, which I'll probably finish this off with. A little bit fishy. Let's Swedish fish. You feeling a little fishy? Feeling a little Swedish? I don't know how the fuck you could be Swedish unless you're from the fucking country. Alright. Swedish fish, this will be easy. I imagine there's only like five in there here, so we'll just rip, rip that open and uh, give her a swirl. Mission accomplished. You know, actually recently I had, like a few weeks ago, during the weeks leading up to Christmas, there were these, uh, uh I think my mom... I think brought, bought these uh, this little bag of Swedish fish, and all, they were all flavored after flavors of crush soda, which was pretty cool. And I had them; they were pretty sweet. They they were pretty they were pretty tight, pretty fly. You might say, fly fishing. The watermelon airhead. He airheads. There's only one, but it's Airheads brand. I just, you ever, like, you, 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 you buy airheads, you, you crack it, and you strip it down, perfect, like, a perfect half strip down, down the middle, and then there's a little thing and a little flat, and you just peel it, uh, back, unless, you know, it's been hot and it gets stuck in there, as with all sorts of taffy products, like Laffy Taffy, which I haven't had in a long time, but god damn it, I'd love to have some, especially the banana flavor, the banana flavor is fucking fantastic. So is, so is so is the sour apple flavor. I think those are like the two best flavors of Laffy Taffy. But this ain't Laffy Taffy. It's it's a it's airhead, so sorry, I just had to smell that. You gotta say savor it. As much, with shit this small, you gotta fucking savor it. Otherwise, you know it's just, it's just, you know, just another thing that goes down your esophagus. Let's go. It's a fucking 
Watermelon Party. Terrible Gold Bears. <clears throat> oh my god. They've been better than the airheads. Fuck yeah, dude, I love this shit. I look like a weirdo. I'm just holding this tiny bag, you know, hunched over, sitting crisscross on the floor. Imagine if I was doing this in public, like sitting against a wall, just sitting on the ground, eating these, with just, just with the blankest, emotionless stare in the world. People would think things. I think the best flavor is like the the clear yellowish one. I think that's like the pineapple one. Or wait, no, I think like the best flavors are the yellow and the white, which are like uh, lemon and pineapple, according to the flavor guide here on the back. Probably should have showed you that before, but you know, it's it's all good. You guys are you know seen the the five pound gummy bear? Formerly known as the world's largest gummy bear. I remember that shit from my childhood because I watched a lot of that 19 commercials. I remember for Christmas one year, my mom actually got me the world's largest gummy bear. It was really cool. Unfortunately, I only got to eat like a small portion of it. I like had the first bite. I like I cut it myself. It was like the ear, but it was like so big that I couldn't like eat the whole thing. So it was like, yeah. And then uh, everyone else, you know, had their slices and then we kept it like on the fridge. <laughs> and I think we like got rid of it. I didn't get to eat the whole thing. I kind of wish, you know, we properly, you know, I, I got to properly enjoy that thing. Hey, you know, shit happens. Even when you're a kid. We'll do a small sample of some of these fruit, fruity guys. I'm a bit fruity myself, as you probably already know. Take that with, 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 with which, what you will. Uh, if only, if only, if only this little arrangement was, uh, if only this arrangement was a bit taller. All right, uh, I'll have one of the Skittles. Haven't had Skittles in a while. I like Skittles, they're, they're nice. So, you know, it's one of those, you know, you don't wanna have too many, but Skittles, man, you know. Red Skittle. It's so good. All right, now we got Sour Patch. Um. Not the Sour Patch Kids, it's just a regular Sour Patch, so it's just a stick. The one that, you know, people don't usually have. It's usually Sour Patch Kids or Sour Patch Kids Watermelons. Which, if you're if you're a Josh Chomick, you, you were absolutely a big fan of. Alright, it smells good. I haven't had a Sour Patch in a while, but I like Sour Patch. It's, it's one of the, you know... Like, I, I like sour stuff to a degree, and Sour Patch is a perfect example of that. Oh shit, it broke off. Mmm. It's got the sour, but also the sweet. You know, I'll just have this piece as well. What the hell? And we got the, 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 the we got one of my fake one of my personal top favorites, high chews. There are a lot of great Japanese candies, and this is easily one of the best, especially from the likes of Morinaga, but also just in general. Like you know, I've, I've had plenty of Glico stuff, and by that I think I've only had just Pocky and Pretz. But high chews is is the fucking bomb. Let's just let's be real here. I take the tab. Wibble it around. I ah oh, fuck. I, I ruined it. Damn it. <laughs> Whatever. All right. I'll just have this this one, and then I'll I'll save these. In fact, actually, if I just eat one, I'll probably polish them off. I've, I've, high chews are like crack. Well, almost. Not not. Uh, uh, uh. They're not that addictive, but god damn it, do they not last that long? Even if I try to keep them in my mouth, I can't help but just digest, just swallow them. It's that good. <laughs> Let's go. 
that's that good shit. Them crinkle sounds may be alleged increasing uh, the excitability. I think it's the good ass flavors. Plus the fact that I got an, an Atari game, even if it is one that I already own two copies of, it is a nice surprise. Definitely wasn't expecting that. Would've been cool if I got a Wii game or something though. Now let's finish it off with a good old Kinder Bueno. I'll probably just, you know, I'll probably have just, I'll have probably just one of them and then the other I'll have later. Kinder Bueno. It, it very much is Bueno. S some would say it's even better than Bueno. Some say would say it's uh, uh, grande. Oh, they, oh, they got the, the, they got plastic wrap on them. They don't usually do that. They usually just, you know, they just put them in there and then you just eat it right out of the thing. But they got plastic on this one. All right. Oh, oh, it's got that. It's got, it's, it's got a pull tab. All right, that's that's convenient. That that's good. Well, you know, I'll probably either eat one or I'll just eat like half. I, I don't know. You can only have so much chocolate before you fucking get sick of it, or either that or die. If not now, then maybe later. Mm. This is it. Mm. Oh. Um, fell out. You know what? I will just eat this one, and then and then the. Uh, ah, oh shit! It went it went over there. I forgot. This is really good. I mean, I know I've been saying it, but even something you really love, it's not until you get to experience it again you truly see how much you love it. Kind of like with Smash Bros. You know, I love it. Whenever candies or any sort of food. They section them so you can easily break them off. I love when they do that. It makes portioning them a lot easier. Like if you're on a diet, or if you just you know you know if you know if you if you're a shapes person or a portions person, you know stuff like that. I'm sure there are plenty of you guys who are like that. I'm kind of like that. I appreciate when they do that. Kit Kat is a big example of this, obviously. There's no Kit Kats here, but you know, the sentiment still goes, whether it's for her, she, or for Kinder. That will do it for this little unboxing and also eating video. Sure, I haven't done an eating video in like two years. Crazy, I think it's already flown by since then, but here we are. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this little silly little video to kick off 2022. Not counting, you know, the New Year's video that I've been doing every year since since uh, New Year's of 2018. Going into 2019. And, uh, you know, it was a nice little thing that I thought I'd start with. The little thing I got for Christmas along with the awesome other Christmas gifts. You might have already seen I posted them on my Twitter and I hope to get some more. I've already gotten some more with some of the money I got. And hopefully I'll get some more of that cash. So I can get more of the stuff that I'm hoping to get. But in the meantime, we got combat. And that's why I got to love Atari. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope to see you again for the next exciting video. Whatever I put out next, you'll, you'll know when it comes. And as always, thank you everybody for watching. I'm Andrew Ambrose. And I'll catch you later.